What's up, me social media droogies? So welcome to the second video in Zadie's Real Estate Entrepreneurship Channel, where I'm going to be teaching you how to wholesale real estate properties, okay? So, um, by the way, I got a microphone, um, but I just didn't bring it into the office. So next video, I promise I'm going to have it, okay? But I feel as if the content's more important. Again, guys, um, I'm not charging you for this stuff. I know a lot of people are doing courses and stuff like that. So please show me your love. Drop a like in this video. Uh, write me a comment. Tell me you like me. Tell me you hate me. Whatever it is, interact with me. And bottom line is, let me know what you want to see. Um, if you find value in this, please share this video to other people. What today's video is about is what is wholesaling and how to find a title company. Okay, so I'm attaching both of these together because some of you already know what wholesaling is and you want to know about the title company and some of you guys don't even know, so you want to know all of these things. So first and foremost, before you get started, you got to find a title company to uh, do your transaction for you. I'm going to get into that, but let me just break down what is wholesaling, okay? Wholesaling is the cornerstone of America. Wholesaling is buy low, sell high, which is the essence of capitalism. So if you walk into a grocery store, the grocery store, Vons, Albertsons, whatever it is, is a uh, they're wholesalers. So what they do is they buy food from farmers, okay, for let's say a dollar, and they sell it to you for three dollars, and they make two dollars, okay. So they bought it wholesale, and then they sold it retail to you. So what I'm going to be teaching you is how to buy houses wholesale, and how to sell them retail. Okay, so what you need is two pieces of paper. Okay, that's it. One piece of paper is your purchase and sales agreement. Okay, this is what you have and you give this to your seller. Okay, so someone is selling a property. You are the buyer. You give them this agreement, which outlines your agreement. It doesn't matter. It, this is literally valid. This piece of paper, if it had the address on it, it had the person's name on it and it had signatures, you could give it to the title company. It doesn't need to be some fancy schmancy paper. When you're dealing with an all cash as is purchase, you don't need any kind of document. Don't let any realtor tell you otherwise. It's complete bullshit, okay? The United States government allows you to do this. You are not a realtor, so you don't have to abide by the realtor association of bullshit rules. If you're a realtor, I say that out of respect because that's a private organization. But, you know, if you're not a realtor, you don't have to do what a private organization does. You just have to do what the government tells you to do. Okay, that's your main boss, the government. That's it. Government, you entrepreneur, and then you conclude your business. Okay, so you have your purchase and sales agreement, and then you have your assignment contract. So after you have your purchase and sales agreement with your seller, Okay, then you make a contract with your buyer selling them this. Okay, you're assigning this pro uh, this this piece of paper to them, the purchase and sales agreement. You're assigning it to them, and then you're going to be receiving um, a fee for this. Okay, that's where your profit comes in, and that's how you buy real estate with zero dollars. Okay, you're using OPM, other people's money. You're leveraging. Okay. So you assign it. Now you have both of these two pieces of paper. What are you going to do? You got to find a title company. What is the title company? A title company is an escrow company. If you're on the East Coast, title companies are not involved. An attorney is involved. So you got to find an attorney. Now, if you're on the East Coast state, what I advise you to do is go to biggerpockets.com or there's a, uh, a wholesaling houses full time on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. Go in there and ask who has an attorney. Uh, who uh, uh, does wholesaling in an attorney state and get a referral from an attorney, okay? Other than that, if you want to know how to find a title company, pay attention to this screen right here, all right? So let's say you're in um, Boise, Idaho, right? So Boise, Idaho title company, all right? So we do this, obviously I spelled it wrong because I'm an idiot, but you don't have to be smart to make money. <laughs> you just have to hire smart people to make you look smart. And that's what I do. Okay, so um, here we're gonna go here, we're gonna go more places. Boom, look at that, look at all these title companies. This is your list, you're just gonna call them and then you're gonna talk to them and see if they do assignments. Okay, so let's do a live one right now. We're going to call this first one here. 
Now, if you could hear somebody, that's my acquisitions manager. He's he's doing some deals, so I'll just kind of ignore that, but see what we could do here. I'm calling Title One. Thank you for calling Title One. John, may I help you? Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. How about yourself? I'm I'm on the right side of the ground, which means I'm always happy. Thanks for asking. Oh, good. Um, may, may I, I want to open escrow with you guys. Can you please uh, patch me through to a uh, escrow agent? Do you have a preference on who you work with? Just or? somebody that uh, has been there a while and, and knows how to get things done. Okay, sure. Just one moment. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Uh -huh. Personality, guys. Personality, okay? Play, have fun, you know? If you're not loving what you're doing, why the fuck are you doing it? Okay? So... It's not going to be great all the time. I'm not saying you're going to love what you do all the time. Sometimes you want to kill people. But, you know, just love what you do. Enjoy it. You know, go with the flow, baby. Woo! Okay? So I'm going to call here and see if they do assignment contracts. And if they don't, I want to see if they do double closings. Okay? So you just go down the list. Look at how many people we got here. If I get a no, I'm not going to give a shit because there's so many other people here. Look at all of these people. Who wants my business? Who wants my freaking money, man? As Grant Cardone would say, who? Well, he says, who's got my money, man? Who's got my money? Bottom line is, okay, all of these people are potentials here. Okay, so don't trip out if one of them says no. Realistically, you know, if this is too long of a hold, I could just hang up and go call another one. It doesn't matter. But for the purposes of this video, I want to make sure I'm, I'm executing for you guys. I'm giving a live example. I don't even know what the hell is going to happen here. This is not pre-stage. You know, maybe I should have pre-staged them, but whatever. It gives me time to talk to you. A title company is somebody you give the, both contracts to, and what they're going to do is they're going to give title insurance to the deal, and they're going to also add validity to you. Okay? So they're going to make you... Uh, hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing today? I'm excellent. Um, Tracy, I got uh, escrow that I want to open, but uh, my situation is um, I, I uh, get purchase and sales contracts and then I assign them to buyers. Do you guys do assignments over there? Yeah, so a purchase and sale agreement can be, you'll have a buyer's name and they'll say and or signs and then once it's decided who that person is and they usually do an addendum, usually the broker's going to require an addendum showing the, the actual who the assigner is. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then it's full disclosure, I'm telling all parties involved exactly what's going on so they're aware of it. Um, can I give you a call back? I got to hop off the phone right now, but I'm going to give you a call back and give, uh, get your email address and then just send everything to you. But thank you so much. I appreciate it, Tracy. Uh huh. Bye. Sure. Bye. That's it, guys. Boom. First call. Okay. First call. So if you're tripping out, if you're having issues about finding a title company, that situation is no longer a problem for you. <laughs> okay, guys. So here's the thing. Um, in your purchase and sales agreement, she brought up a good point. She said that it has to say, uh, on, it says like uh, this house is being purchased by, and then there's a blank space, and or assigned. Now, you don't have to do that. She's just, you know, covering her ass. But basically what you could do anywhere on the contract, uh, what we do is like line item number six. It says this contract can be assigned for profit. Or this contract may be assigned for profit. As long as you have that in there, you're good. And don't gloss over that. Let people know. I always let people know. I'm like going over the contract. I'm like, okay, we're purchasing this property and as is condition. Um, this item right here, this uh, contract may be assigned for profit. We're just letting you know that we're buying this to make a profit. You don't have a problem with that, do you? Nobody in the right friggin' mind is going to say, yo, I got a problem with you making profit. This is America, son, okay? People are in this game for profit, okay? Don't shy away from it. Don't hide it from them. Let them know, yo, you know what? I'm going to make money on this deal. You got to let them know that because if you don't let them know that and they're at the signing table, at the end of the day, they might not sign if they figure it out, okay? So keep in mind, you have your purchase and sales agreement that lets you, and, and you have permission to assign it, then you have your assignment contract, you give it to the title company. 
Now, the title company is going to go through and what they're going to do is they're going to go check the title. They're going to see if the person has any liens. They're going to see if the person has any kind of uh, liens or like a mortgage. So it's somebody that's saying, you can't sell this property until I get paid. That's a mortgage company. Or for instance, if they didn't pay their sewer bill or their trash bill, all those have to be paid in full before you could close. Okay. So usually as wholesalers, we say we're going to cover all closing costs. So sometimes you'll say I cover all closing costs and the next thing you know, you find $2,000 in fees, you know, you just got to suck that up or you got to have a conversation or renegotiate depending on who you are as a human being and how you want to conclude your business. You're the CEO of your company. You run it the whatever way you want to run it. Okay. So anyways, you give these two pieces of paper to them. They get the liens. They're going to do what's called a preliminary title report. They're going to find out all the money that's owed. They're going to get all the documentation together. Then... At that time, what's going to happen is the seller is either going to go to the title company and sign like this much worth of documents. You know, you don't have to do that. You got lawyers doing that for you. They're working for you. This title company works for you. Okay. So they're going to put all that stuff together. You just have to have the title company and the seller coordinate to go and sign. And then you have your buyer go and sign. Your buyer doesn't have to go to the title company. They could just do everything through DocuSign. Your seller... Uh, needs to have a notary present, okay? So they have to go to the title company. What we do is we always tell people, I'll be like, okay, uh, when we're fi signing the final documents, would you like a notary to come to your home personally or do you want to go to the title company and meet Kathy or June or whatever it is, you know? So some people feel comfortable having a notary come to them. Some people are skeptical, you know what I mean? Uh, if anyone asks you and they say to you, well, how am I going to get my money? When am I going to get my money? That's a great question, John. So take a look at this. We give you more options. So either number one, uh, you could have the money wired to your account. Number two, you could have a check waiting for you at the title company. Or number three, we'll FedEx it to you. You choose. You let the title company know. I don't want to know your bank information. I don't want to know your routing information. You deal directly with the title company to get that information. All right, guys. That concludes this video of what is wholesaling and how to find a title company. So I'm going to end it with this. There's always going to be some inspirational message at the end of these videos, guys. You've got to train your mind for success, okay? We're all programmed in, in middle school, elementary school, and high school to be employees. We're all programmed to work for somebody else. We're all programmed not to create the lives that we want, but to compete for what we have. Com competition is complete BS, okay? This is an illusion placed on people to keep them enslaved, okay? We watch football, we watch basketball, we think competition is real, okay? Competition is not real. Understand that. You, you It's real if you make it real, okay? Um, but if you choose creation over competition, you have no competition. It's just all you. You think of something in your mind, you attract it to you, the right people will come to you. If something you think of comes to you, it's not for anybody else, it's for you. You understand? This is how you can think. If you start thinking this way, less stress, and things will happen a lot quicker and easier. Don't get me wrong. The universe cannot be cheated. You have to grind for what you get, okay? You have to put in the work. A lot of people don't want to put in the work, man. A lot of people don't want to put in the work. And that's why you got to have a strong why, which is a separate video. But I want to end this right here. Please comment, like this video, and share it if you find value. Please let me know, guys. I want to know if this stuff is helping you. I'm pretty sure finding a title company and giving you this example call is going to create some home runs for you. So let me know, man. Let me know what's going on. This is Zadie out.